All right, my opinion of forward-facing sonar that nobody wants to hear. Let's get into it. So I know this is a huge, like a huge thing going on in bass fishing right now. You got one side where guys are like, that's not fishing. You can't, you know, we, we, you can't, you don't have any instincts when you're doing it like that, blah, 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 blah. Definitely some validity to that argument. Absolutely. The other thing is it's boring to watch on TV, right? It's just, you're just looking at the back of guys' backs and, you know, you're not seeing anything and they're just staring at screens and, hey, all, all of that has validity. A lot of it is true. Uh, but at the same time, there's a whole other side of the argument too, where, and in my opinion, A number one, you're catching more bass. Um, so, and that's like what I thought we were all out here for. Like, I'll admit, I, you know, I'm commentating on TV and doing all that stuff. And, and would I rather watch somebody skip a jig up under a boat dock, flip a jig into a bush, or, you know, throw a giant swim bait somewhere in, in a bunch of grass? Yeah. But the thing about it is, I like competitions. I like people catching the most fish. When I go bass fishing, I like to catch the most fish. So it's one of those deals where it's like, you know, I heard the analogy, it's, it's kind of like golf. It's watching somebody fish straight with forward facing sonar is not that interesting, but it's fun when you do it yourself. I am going to completely 100% agree with that statement. I, and, and you're going to be like, oh, you know, he, yeah, I'm kind of taking both sides on it. I see the argument that forward facing sonar is changing the way that we watch fishing. It's, and, and it's obviously changing the way we fish, but you know what I think is cool? It's teaching us a lot of stuff about fish that we, that it, like it's debunking all kinds of stuff, like suspended fish don't bite. Bull, obviously they do. We got guys out there now that are making their living targeting suspended fish, which whatever, there could be a million other opinions on that too. You know, you could say, well, the fish never get any chance to rest anymore. You know, well, you're right, they don't. You know, people fish in the winter time now up north like they didn't used to before. You know, we, we, this, this technology is allowing you to fish for fish that you could never fish for before. Yes, yes, those arguments are all true. And so are the guys that like the forward facing sonar. They like catching more bass. That's how each and every one of us, every one of you guys watching this video, that's how you got into it. Cause you caught a bass and you wanted to catch another one and you caught another one and you wanted to catch another one after that. And now here we are, we're all in this culture of out there trying to catch little green fish and brown ones and gray ones and whatever, any kind of bass there is. Personally, I like to catch any kind of fish, saltwater, freshwater, whatever. But let's get back to the, the, the actual program that we're talking about is my opinion on the forward facing sonar is that it's good and it's bad. It's both. Both sides of the argument are correct in a lot of the points that they're trying to make. It, it is. It's the, the fish don't ever get any time to rest, but you catch more fish. We're learning a lot more stuff about fish that we thought you, you, it's just some writer 25 years ago wrote in Bassmaster Magazine that this is what happens. And he didn't know. He's not a biologist. He's not. He's on a deadline to get an article in to make his 150 bucks so he can pay his electric bill. Like, like I hate to admit it, but years and years and years ago, that is how a lot of these so-called things that bass do happened. Somebody wrote an article and it got put in a, in a magazine and, and, and people just took it for gospel. Look at, look, at the, look at the thing when fluorocarbon came out. Fluorocarbon doesn't have any stretch. Dude, hang a brick from a piece of monofilament and a piece of fluorocarbon. They both stretch. Tie a piece in between your hands and go like this. Fluorocarbon stretches. It's, it's like it's debunked. Well, that's what I like about forward-facing sonar. It's debunking a lot of stuff. I'll tell you one thing. I know it's debunked. It's not all fish spawn on the bank. Fish spawn out. They do. There's way more fish that spawn out in water deeper than you can see, 100%. The other thing I like about forward-facing sonar, I'll give you a, a, a perfect example. And once again, I'm gonna talk pro forward-facing sonar for a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to the downside of it. But like, just for instance, the other day I was fishing at Stick Marsh, you know, big popular lake down here by my house in Palm Bay. 
I could scan around and see there's, there's a lot of grass, but there's also a lot of stumps and stick marsh, hence the name. But I could see, I wasn't seeing fish. I wasn't see, I, I, you could see one swim around every once in a while. But I could target the bigger stumps and the clusters of stumps out there and, and throw my vibe jig over there, throw, you know, throw my, my eye on over there and, and was catching them. And instead of like, I know how I used to fish those areas before, I would just go into those areas and just fan cast around. You know, whether I'm using a worm or nickel spinner bait or what, you know, whatever. Fan cast around. Well, now I can scan around with that thing and go, oh, there's the clump of stumps right over there. Let me make two or three repeated casts at that instead of really fanning around crazy. So you catch more fish and it doesn't necessarily mean like how Dustin Cannell won Red, red Crest. Blah, blah, I can't talk. How Dustin Cannell won Red Crest. He, yes, he was targeting suspended fish or swimming around and he was chasing them down and throwing them minnow in front of them, the mooch minnow until they bit. Yep, absolutely, that's what he was doing. But that's not everything that forward-facing sonar is. It's, it's got a lot of other attributes too, you know what I mean? Like just, just seeing an area where there's a lot of bait and you may or may not mark the fish. Fish might be down in, like where I fish, there's a lot of grass, but I still use it. I use it because I catch more fish because of it. And that goes back to the whole thing. It's, I like catching bass, so, and if you're if you're if you're in a, in a national tournament right now, if you're not using it, like you're de you're going to be left behind. But they're all using it, every one of them, and you you have to understand what those guys are up against. If if they don't use it, whether they like it or not, if they don't use it, they're going to be left in the dust. It's just like like anything, you know, like how car racing has evolved or this or that you say no nah, i don't i don't want to use a turbo or i don't want to use a supercharger i just want to let's just all do normally aspirated and that's you know because that's how it all started well you know what normally aspirated that's fine but you know what else i like technology and i like jets because i don't want to fly i don't want to drive to tulsa every week when i have to go out there to cover a tournament i want to fly out there because man that's way easier so it, it, it is this whole big discussion. And like I said, there's a lot of stuff that, that's, you know, is a downside to fish never have any time to rest. There's a lot of guys that say, well, there's these kids coming out now and they didn't put the seat time in and learn and, and get the intuition of spending so much time on the water. They can just go out there and put that screen out there and, and go take off and catch bass. Yep, they can. And they can be really good at it too. So like me, I, I grew up not obviously not forward-facing sonar. I spent hours and hours and hours everywhere from Deep Creek Lake and the Potomac River and Lake Okeechobee and now every place around here for the last 20 years, Palm Bay, not to mention being on tour in all these places that I've been. That's how I got to be, you know, understand how to go out and catch fish. But it, yes, does it, the, the, is there, it, do I get a little case of the ass because these kids can just put this screen on and go out and catch them just as good or better. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But that's technology. That's advancements. That's like, I'm sure that there was somebody that had to travel to the Midwest back before airplanes that probably has a case of the ass at me because I don't have to drive to the Midwest all the time. I can get on a plane and fly out there and be out there in two hours instead of 20. The, things just evolve. So, Yes, there's a lot of, of, there are bad things about forward-facing sonar and things I don't like, but to me, it all comes down to, it, dude, it, it all comes down to catching more bass, because that's what I like to do. I, if I go sword fishing out in the ocean, I want to catch as many sword fish as I can. If I go grouper fishing out in the ocean, I want to catch as many grouper as I can. If I go catfishing below the spillway at Stick Marsh to catch some fish to eat, I want to catch as many catfish as I can. And when I go bass fishing, damn it, I want to catch as many bass as I can. So I am on both sides of the thing. Like I said, if you get right down to like the two main arguments, yes, forward facing sonar tournaments are not as fun to watch. Yes, it doesn't give the fish any time to rest, so to speak. Uh, I like people catching more bass. I like seeing competition. I like seeing, <laughs> I, I like, so I don't like it and I like it. And that's why I said this is going to be a forward facing sonar opinion that nobody's going to like because I'm, I didn't side with either one. 
And it's not because, no, no electronic companies pay me at all. I get zero money from any electronics company. So I know there's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna say, well, he's owned by Lawrence or whatever. And that's why he's saying he does like it, but he probably really doesn't. Lawrence doesn't give me a dime, like nothing, zero. So that is not why. It's because I like catching more bass. So yes, I do use it. Yes, I agree with some of the, the, the downfalls of it. I'm using it. I like catching more bass.